Hey guys, welcome to another video. I really appreciate you joining today. Today is October 2nd, 2022, and I wanted to do my weekly update. This is week six of my training building up for my attempt to run 100 miles in a 24 hour race uh, on December 3rd, 2022. Uh, this week, my uh, mileage of my training was down a little bit due to different circumstances but also saw some encouraging signs uh, i took off monday due to last sunday i did it 18 miles at hula loop so i took off monday i ran on tuesday morning i did uh, 4.3 miles and i did my hill sprints that went well <laughs> I went on Tuesday evening out to Horseshoe Trail for what they call the Horseshoe Hustle with my Dallas Dirt Runners Club, and I did four miles. Um, I ended up falling in and running with uh, friends that, that weren't moving real fast, but uh, it was good because I didn't need to go hard since I had run a little harder earlier that day. But uh, also ran into my friend Darren who gave me a pair of trail shoes, pretty much brand new. They'd only been one, worn one time for five miles. Um, I'll talk more about those shoes after I run in them a bit more. Uh, they're something totally new for me. Um, he ran in them once and just decided they weren't really for him, but he, he likes the shoes in general. Uh, he just wanted a little bit more cushion. But anyway, I'll do a, uh, get some more miles in them and then I'll do a video on those and talk about them later but anyway uh, so I ran in those on Tuesday night Wednesday I woke up and I felt uh, poorly uh, I've had still some trouble with my blood pressure medicine uh, occasionally making me have a uh, low blood pressure and I just feel real bad on those days for a while it was happening every seven to 10 days. I, they've adjusted my medicine. It only happens probably once every three weeks, but uh, Wednesday was the day. So I just didn't feel good and I did not run. Uh, then Wednesday evening, my father had a little bit of a health scare and we ended up taking him back to the emergency room, uh, back to the hospital. Uh, he's gonna be okay. Uh, again, he's still on the mend. But we just had a little scare on Wednesday evening. Uh, Thursday, I, we were up kind of late. With that, I didn't get home till probably 1 or 1.30 in the morning. And then Thursday, he had a doctor's appointment in the morning that was regular scheduled that I took him to. And I did stuff with, I had other errands to run. So I really didn't get to run till kind of late on Thursday. And I was kind of tired. So I just did like uh, 4.3 miles and uh, they felt a little tough. <laughs> so I really was kind of behind on my mileage. Going into Friday morning, I had really intended to take that day off because I was planning a trail race on Saturday. But I really wanted to get in my second hill sprint workout of the week. So I went ahead and went out Friday morning and it was a great day. The weather had turned cooler. It was nice uh, weather probably in the low 60s when I went out to run. Uh, I just did a short run. I did like 3.1 miles, but I did my hill sprints. Uh, that was a really nice session, even though it was short. Um, Saturday, I went out and I did the uh, Knob Hills Trail Race. They, it's a race put on at uh, local trails that are near Grapevine Lake called the Knob Hills Trails. Um, they put on a, the Denton Area Runners Club and their race director, Ben Bridgman. They do a wonderful job. Uh, they put on a five mile race, a half marathon, and a 50K race. Well, I decided to do the half marathon. Uh, I went out Saturday morning 
and it was really gorgeous for us that have been we till recently we were having our morning lows were upper 70s low 80s well it was in the low 50s that morning uh it might have got close to 70 by the time i finished i mean it heated up pretty quickly i think we got up in the mid 80s on saturday so the people running the 50k probably felt a little bit more but uh got out there it felt wonderful trails were nice uh i was running much faster than i thought i could uh, i think i said in one of my recent ones that i was happy that my one of my last horseshoe runs horseshoe trail runs i averaged like 12 30 so well, this one uh i ended up averaging like 12 23 for a half marathon on the trails which is pretty good for me it would have been a good bit faster if i hadn't had uh, a fall a crash and fall around just before 10 miles uh i probably lost five minutes in that mile kind of checking myself out uh i was bleeding pretty good and um then the last uh the, the race ended up being close to 14 miles so the last four miles i was still able to run but i was very cautious when there were rocks and roots uh, i didn't really want to fall again and i think i lost a little of my nerve but anyway so overall it was a good race uh, i was still happy with the result um, It was a small race there were only like 34 people in the half marathon and i think i ended up 21st out of 34. um i think if i hadn't had the fall i probably would have finished you know in the 15 to 17 range probably been in the mid middle dead middle but uh, it was an interesting thing when i started the race i'm looking around like everybody looks young and fast well sure enough I'm looking at the results. I was the oldest person in the race at 60 years old. Um, there were there was one lady that ran that was 58, and there was a one 50-year-old and two 53-year-old males. So I was the oldest male by seven years. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of a new experience for me. I guess I'm gonna have to get used to being one of the old the old person in the race. But uh, hadn't really had that that I remember before but anyway it was a very enjoyable enjoyable time I really enjoyed it after the race I, I had quite a bit of blood running down my arm from my fall my left uh, middle finger was very sore I'm actually kind of worried that I still damaged it pretty good I've been wearing a splint on it though I have it off right now just to let it breathe I'll put a splint on it again before I go to sleep but but when I finished, people were like, oh, that's really bad. And I, I walked to the bathroom. There was a bathroom out there. And I, I washed up, washed the blood off. And then I noticed my elbow was like the size of an apple. I mean, it was like really huge and swollen. I called my wife, who's a nurse. She was at work, but she uh, sent her a picture. And I was just debating whether I should just go home and put ice on it. But she told me I should go to the... An urgent care facility so I went there to have them look at it and they looked at it and uh, they decided I still had full range of motion and um, it really wasn't hurting me much they just decided that probably since I was on blood thinners it was just full of blood and they just told me to go home and ice it a bunch and that probably most of the blood would reabsorb into my body and would be a much smaller um, by this morning overnight so and that was the case uh, it's still a little little bigger and looks a little rough um, 
I don't know if you can see it. Uh, well, I've got it covered with Band-Aid. But uh, the, the elbow is still a little big, but it is much more, much back, more back to normal. So I'm on the mend. Um, anyway, other than that, my hands are just a little scraped up and bruised from when I fell. I think I, I tripped over a rock and I think I fell on some, it was kind of a rocky section, dirt and rocks. And I think I kind of fell on a bunch of little rocks. So it kind of, kind of tore me up a little bit. Um, anyway, so my, my weekly miles this week ended up being 29.6 of running. I usually say it, running four days a week, I'm going to get in the 30 to 40 range. I really thought I was going to go back out today and do a short run to get my mileage up for the week a little bit, but feeling a little banged up, uh, and sore. So I decided to just take another day off. So I did not run today. So I'm ending up with 29.6. With all that's going on, I only managed to get in one strength workout. I've been trying to get in two to three per week, usually three. Um, I usually walk 10 to 15 miles per week as part of my training. And this week I'm only gonna end up with maybe five and a half miles of walking. So it's a little bit of a down week, but on the encouraging sign, I felt really good doing my two hill sprint sessions some of my sessions I, I was running a little bit faster I, it's probably because of the cooler weather and i was pretty happy with how my trail race went at least until i crashed and fell <laughs> but uh so it was a pretty good week this coming week uh again i'll just kind of follow the same formula i'll run four i, I may go ahead and run five days i'm kind of starting to miss the running the fifth day uh I'm still going to shoot for getting in two to three strength workouts. I'm still going to try to get my two hill sprint sessions in. And on Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday will be another hula loop. And this one I'm actually going to go for it a little bit more. I've been just kind of going out and taking it real easy. I've done 21 and 18 miles. I'd like to try to do a marathon at least this week. I uh, just would like to try to get my distance up a little bit. And the weather should be a little more conducive to it. So anyway, uh, not the best week, but not horrible. And uh, I think things are looking progressing at least. I don't know if I'll be ready for my, my goal race in December, but I, I, I feel like I'm at least making some progress now. Anyway, I hope you had a wonderful week. I hope if you're racing, it's all going well. And it just got really dark where I'm recording. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching and keep moving. <laughs>